second part of today's lesson. The topic remains modal auxiliary verbs. Modal auxiliary verbs. Now let's continue our class with me. M A Y. It means uncertainty, not sure of. It is used to one express a wish. For example, may you live long. May God bless our governor. Two, to express purpose. To express purpose. For example, learn that you may teach others. Eat that you may live. Three, to express possibility. For example, the tutor general may visit our school tomorrow. Wazobia Max TV may air the program. Might. M I G H T. It is used to one. Indicate an indirect speech. For example, he said that he might marry her tomorrow. Amaka said she might become a teacher. Two, to make gentle reproach. For example, you might go there a little early. You might have told me earlier about it. Three, to express possibility. It might rain today. He might attend the meeting. Will. W-I-L-L. -L. It means willingness. It is used to, one, express simple futurity. For example, the plane will take off in few seconds. They will come tomorrow. Two, to express determination, promise, threat, and willingness. For example, I will teach the students English language. This denotes determination or promise. I will sue her. It denotes threat. I will tell you the address. It denotes willingness. Three, to express characteristic behavior. For example, the student will listen to the news on Wazobia FM. They will boast of their wealth. Word. W O J U L D. It is used to one. Express indirect speech. For example, Janet told me that she would not like to marry him. Two, to express past habit. He would sit here and think about his childhood. Three, to express intention. For example, I wish the governor would visit the schools. Shall. S H A L L. It is used to one express futurity. For example, we shall visit Jaws next week. We shall attend the meeting on Monday. Two to express command, promise, threat, and determination. For example, you shall not smoke in the room. You shall get the goods. Now let's go for should. S H O U L D. It is used to one express duty. To express duty. For example, the student should attend the classes regularly. Janet should bring the child. Two to express obligation. For example, you should help the poor. Children should respect the elders. Three, to express probability or likelihood. For example, I should be able to complete the book in time. It should be in the school now. Students, I'm going to stop here and I'll continue the other aspects of modal auxiliary verbs in the next lesson. Thank you.